What's going on guys, it's CTA Prime back here again with the NVIDIA Shield Android TV and today I wanted to show you the new and improved NVIDIA GeForce Now. It's also known as NVIDIA Games on your Shield. It's actually been a long time since I tested this out, but the other night I was messing around on the Shield and I figured I'd go ahead and start it up. And it has changed dramatically. So if you own an NVIDIA Shield, you're automatically eligible to try out the beta. You can just go ahead and sign into NVIDIA Games on your Shield. There's a lot of free games that you can mess around with. And if you own some games in Steam, you can already use them. So as you can see, I got Crash Insane Trilogy. That's in my Steam library. I have Far Cry 5. That's actually in my Uplay library. But before we even get into trying out some games, I want to show you this. The Steam option in GeForce Now. So I am not going to be streaming from any PC in my house whatsoever. This is going to be running strictly on NVIDIA's GeForce Now server. So you really don't even need a PC, but you know, if you got Steam games, you probably have a PC anyway. It might be lower end and there's some games you can't play well on the PC you own. Guarantee you, you can play them pretty good here as long as you have a good internet connection. So I thought this was pretty cool and I want to get this across here. This is not streaming from any PC that I own at all. This is strictly coming from NVIDIA servers, and I think it's pretty awesome. As of making this video, there are a ton of games that are supported, and then there are a lot of games that are not supported, but they plan on adding more. If you want to install a game here that's not supported, it will install, you can play it, but after you shut the game down, it won't be installed on their server anymore. But I kind of wanted to show you games that are already installed, ready to go on their GeForce Now servers. You don't have to do any downloading. You can start the game up as long as you own it. If it's a free to play game, you're going to sign into your account and start playing. So I'm going to test out two games here, but I kind of want to show you, you know, in their new release section and their free to play section. There's a lot of stuff here, and if you look at the very bottom of the game, it'll say Steam. If you own it on Steam, you can use it here without having to wait for anything to install whatsoever. Aside from Steam, they also offer Uplay titles. So if you own it on Uplay, you can do the same exact thing. Now, I bought Far Cry 5 on Uplay because I got it a lot cheaper than I could on Steam, and it is in their Ready to Play section. Another great game, Jurassic World Evolution. If you haven't tried it out, definitely give it a shot. I own that on Steam also. They also have a Free with Shield section. If you own a Shield and you're signed up with GeForce Now, you can play any of these titles here. But some of them are still really great to play today. And for all of those Battle Royale fans out there, Fortnite, Realm Royale, they got Paladins. You can stream it to your NVIDIA Shield for free. All you need is an account for that free-to-play game. So as of making this video, this is free to use if you own an NVIDIA Shield. I'm not sure if they're going to be charging for it. I don't see how they're going to be making money if they don't charge for it. But I want to go ahead and start up Far Cry 5. Now the reason I'm using Far Cry 5 because when I go into the settings, it's going to tell me what GPU we're using. And I was blown away when I saw what GPU they're using for their servers. I mean, it's not a dedicated gaming GPU, but it is a $6,000 GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm going to skip through here and we're going to go into the video options on Far Cry 5 while I'm streaming it from NVIDIA's servers. I'm just going to go into video settings here. Unfortunately, I can't record in 4K with my game capture, but I did play this in 4K on my big screen TV downstairs and it works great. At the very top, the video adapter, which is the GPU or video card, is the NVIDIA Tesla P40, a $6,000 GPU with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Now this wasn't specifically designed for gaming, but it's going to get the job done while streaming here. Like I mentioned, I have run this at Ultra in 4K on my TV downstairs, and it runs really, really well. We're at 1080p. I'm going to go to Ultra. V-Sync is off. Frame Lock is off. Now, in order for this to work correctly, you're going to need a pretty beefy internet connection. So, for instance, I'm using a high-speed internet connection here. It's not fiber or anything, but it is 400 megabits down and 30 megabits up. It's a pretty good connection, at least where I am, because they don't offer fiber here. But as soon as it hits, I'm going to upgrade. So, you might notice a few stutters here or there, and that's really due to my internet connection. But overall, the game runs really well streaming it from their servers. On my main gaming PC, I cannot do ultra settings at 1080p. I just don't think this game's well optimized anyway, but I have a 4.6 gigahertz i7 CPU, given it is a fourth generation and a 1060 GTX 6 gigabyte. 
at high and very high it does a great job and pretty much any other game that I throw at it is fine for me. I really wanted to get a 1080 Ti but I'm not going to fork out the cash. So it's running pretty smooth. You will notice a couple dips here and there but like I mentioned it is due to my internet connection and I am wireless. I'm using Wi-Fi right now. If you're using Ethernet it's going to work a lot better. Next game I wanted to show you was Overwatch. This is one of my favorite games. I really wish I had more time to play it. Now, when we get in here, I'm gonna have to sign into my Blizzard account, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. All right, so here we are. We'll go into Options. I'm at 1080p. I'm on Epic Settings. I have the frame rate cap set to 300 and the rendering resolution set to 100. I do have details being displayed in the top left-hand corner. We have the FPS, the temp of the system, system VRAM, and we'll also have latency when we get in here. So remember, keep an eye on that FPS up in the top left hand corner and the latency. We're at 38, 39 milliseconds. So in a heavy firefight, epic settings, 1080p, streaming on the Nvidia Shield, we're at 100 FPS. It will go up to a 200, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Lots of explosions, characters on screen, and it feels really good. I'm sure if we went down to high settings, we could get 200 FPS even in a heavy gunfight here. I don't notice much lag. Now, I'm not a pro player, so if you want to play this professionally, this probably isn't your best bet. But to have some fun with friends, this will definitely work streaming it on the shield. So I really want to show this off because a lot of people bought the shields on Prime Day. If you were somebody who bought one of these and have a controller or a keyboard that you can use, try this out. It's really awesome. Even if you don't own any Steam games, there are free to play games. You got Fortnite and tons of other free to play stuff. At least give it a shot. If you have a decent internet connection, it should work wonders for you. If you don't own an Nvidia Shield, I'm going to leave links to Amazon down below. This is by far one of my favorite devices that I've ever owned. I now have three of them in the house. I use this every single day to watch my Netflix, Hulu, Kodi, 
play games on it, and now we can even stream PC games without even having to own a PC. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.